Well, greetings everyone from the Ionian Islands. I'm just uh, taking a short holiday here with the family, coming back tomorrow, but I will be paying very close attention around 6.30 our time for the racing at Foss Lass when we see Dancing in the Sky go again. Now, it, a lot of people might be wondering why are we running so fast? And it's all to do with uh, recognising that the handicapper is putting him up. He had a lower hurdle mark than he has a chase mark. Although, although I think he'll definitely prove a better chase than a hurdler, I was, as expected, both marks went up significantly um, on Tuesday. Well, that means from the weekend he can't race in this lower grade ever again, or at least not for a, a good period of time. So I thought it was worth a go. He's come out of the race better than he has in his previous runs this season. So that's encouraging. And the guys at, back at the yard have given me the green light that we should, we should have a go at it. You never know in these races, though, until push comes to shove, really quite how much the previous run has taken out of them and whether they're able to give their true running. So I, I'm cautious, I'm optimistic, but I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, and obviously we put Colleen on because Colleen's in great form and taking the seven pound in weight off his back just makes his task easier if it all clicks. Uh, but it is an if. Um, fingers crossed he can go really well. I think the softened ground, good to soft, soft in places at Fosslas over two and a half miles is about spot on for him. So um, I, I hope he can uh, uh, double up as it were from last week. Uh, but I, I can't be confident, and uh, but the thing is we really lose very little in trying, so I think we have a go at this, and then we'll probably have to give them a little bit of time to get over both races. Best of luck, everyone.